So some students will just present the dime model, right? And so what you have, you start out with an idea. You look inwardly to your knowledge, skills, and ability. There's always sort of things that you can't solve yourself, so you find uh, your social network, your business network to help you fill those gaps. Systemic thinking is the way you put it together. So we have businesses that are very similar. Uh, Jordan's and Ben's, he always leaves when I mention his name. Before, right before I mention his name, he always leaves. Are both doing baked goods, but vastly different. They're selling it different ways. Um, and so the fifth stage is the so what, the market differentiation. How are you different? Um, and so you have your idea, you look inwardly to your knowledge, skills, and ability. You look to your network to how you can fill these gaps. You put it together in a unique way, and then you stand back and say, wow, it's even better than I imagined, right? But more often than not, it's worse than you imagined. You're not as smart, your network isn't as good, you can't bake as well, you can't do it as well as you, you thought you could. So this is often not as good. But so what you've done there at that point is that you revise your idea. It could be upwards or downwards, all right? And then you go to, to your customer, right? And so 80%, 78% of all ideas come from a problem that you have at work or a problem that you have at home. And so your customer is just like you, right? So they resemble you, they have the same needs, so you look in the mirror and you can find people like you. Um, so you've identified your customer. Channel is how you reach them. So know, if you know who your customer is, if it's a late night stack, so obviously at late night. Once you figure out how to reach them, Entrepreneurial marketing, so we spent a lot of time working on how to get the message out, how to build your tribe. Step nine is effective selling. So after you reach them, then you can start selling to them. Um, and who are the first three customers? Are your family, friends, and fools, right? So your mother's going to buy it, your friends will buy it a couple times, but they won't buy it forever. <coughs> and the step number 10 is feedback. You take that feedback, and then what you're doing there. Revising the revised idea, and then you go through this cycle. Again, All right, that's the cycle that you go through. And so over time, you get better and better. Every time you're revising the idea, you get better and better. And so what's really nice about entrepreneurship, and I see it in the presentations, um, sort of in the capstone, is as they start, uh, I was talking to the same student last, last night, I was like, my goodness, the presentations were really good this last time, but I was really concerned at the beginning of the semester because they were so poorly thought out, and this is graduate program, right, this is a graduate program at Harvard, and they were really bad presentations, but after doing it three times, the presentations, the quality of what they're presenting got a whole lot better, right? And so as you come out, it doesn't matter if it's not very good, it's the best you can do, right? That's really all that matters. This is the best implementation that I have, and then slowly over time, I take this feedback and make it better. And so that's the die model. So, so that's an option for the exam. You can go through these 10 steps and articulate how you went through the model. Idea, knowledge, skills, and ability, network. 
Any questions on that?